Listen, I don't even know where to start. All of a sudden, they got this body cam footage. You, you what now? No, I just came. What's going on? X your fellow officer. You fell off? X your fellow officer. Okay. But wait, there's more. Not only was that open records request answered um, I gotta go back and look at it almost two weeks two weeks later um but it was only the body cam not the dash cam no <laughs> there's so much that that is just just wrong because first you said you didn't have it. Yeah, you come back to my office, but you gotta turn the camera off. You come to my office. Well, I gotta come back there for. Bruh. Well, uh, there's no body cam or no dash cam. What? There's no body cam and no dash cam. But the officer, yeah. she definitely had her her body cam on. No, she didn't. I already checked. Already I wouldn't write it if she, if she did. Now look, she points right to her, to her body cam. She was like, "Look, I'm recording you too." Let me back up. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you so much to all the naysayers uh, for all the negativity. Uh, because there's a quote. I can't remember exactly who who said it, but uh. The truth does not cease to exist because it's hidden. And as I said before, if something like this was swept under the rug and it's not main, made mainstream media, then people get away with things that they do. All right. And especially when we're dealing with law enforcement. We were dealing with anybody that took an oath, anybody that works in any type of position of power. I'll say that if you have a position where you have authority over the average citizen, where you have the power to take their freedom or administer justice or in even some situations, take individuals lives. If the circumstances present itself. And uh, how the saying goes, dead man don't tell no tales. So there's no way for that person to uh, dispute or uh, defend themselves if they're not here anymore. Now, let's just use common sense. I said I just went through something like this prior. Spent three months in the county jail for something that was tickets. Initially started off as tickets. Right. Went to trial. Represented myself. And beat the case. Because I was innocent. Okay. In this particular situation. I walked away without even having to go through that. Because I knew what my rights were. I knew what they could and could not do. Why would I have my 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 um GoPro? Why would I pull out my phone and immediately start recording? If I had not have done that, it would have been my word against theirs. How do you think that would have turned out for me? Hmm? I almost, I've had years of my life taken away, years that I can never get back. 
I'm not gonna get into that. That's what it made me think about because I wasn't able to prove my my innocence um, at that particular time because I didn't understand my rights and understand the laws. Now, when somebody, when somebody wins, when somebody accuses of you, okay, let me get it out. When somebody accuses you of something and you are innocent and you have to defend yourself against all odds and the only way that you can do this is by playing by the rules, right? Um, because getting upset and screaming and yelling and, and, and uh, acting in a, in a belligerent way or an aggressive manner, it doesn't get you results. So I am, um, I'm a small statured man. I'm only 5'2". I probably weigh 135, 140 pounds. I have, um, I've been through things and been to places that some of you would have nightmares about. Straight like that. I'm not proud of it. I don't glorify it at all. It's something I wish that I could forget, but I can't, unfortunately. But it has taught me so much. And what I did learn and what is self-evident is when you understand or if you're put in a position to where you have to constantly defend yourself and the only way to do it is by studying and reading and comprehending these laws that are set in place to govern this nation and to make sure things don't go out of control. Right. But as most citizens, and it's quite evident, most of you don't know your rights and don't know these laws until you find yourself in that particular situation or worse. Okay. Now, this footage that I received was edited and it's not the first time in the case that I just beat in trial they did the same thing I tried to get the footage authenticated and I probably shouldn't even be saying this much but I tried to get it authenticated um they have something called metadata metadata is like this video that you're watching right now right and you if you run it through certain systems like um, ethics, right? I believe it breaks down the code of the video, audio, digital, everything. And somebody who is a forensic computer, forensic scientist will be able to um, analyze and give a, um, can't even think of the word right now and give a anal uh analysis this word it's a specific word for it but give them pretty much the breakdown of the audio video or whatever that you're looking at now matter of fact here's a perfect example right even though it's quite clear that my lips aren't moving but you still hear me talking so if you can't see the person's face you don't know if they're talking or not on this hand i can do this on this hand i can do that when you're really good, I could do things like this right here. And if you're good enough, you could do all type of things. Now, why didn't they give the dash cam? Initially, they said it happened either. Now, remember, this is a I don't want to say it's a simple situation, but this is a ticket, a bicycle ticket, a citation, a non-arrestable offense. What happens 
if this was a serious crime that you're being accused of. And these people will go to this length to not only withhold evidence, but tamper with it. The only reason why I was given that was because of you. The good and the bad ones. So thank you. And I really mean that. I sat back and I did a lot of thinking so let me just show you this this first little clip or whatever and uh You, you what now? No, I just came. What's going on? Extra fell off. You fell off? Extra fellow officer. Okay. I'm walking with now. I know, I know. Some of you are like, hey, how come you didn't play the whole thing? See, you're trying to hide something. No, sir. I just wanted to prove a point. Remember, this is a pending lawsuit. And also, remember, they said they never had this. Now, where's the dash cam? All right? See, the dash cam is going to show from a different angle. And it's going to show exactly what's said. So, I'm going to leave that at that. I just wanted to show you guys that they do lie. All the way up to the very top of the precinct. Remember, this wasn't a regular officer. This was the chief of police. You think this man wants to get in trouble when he was dead wrong? Remember, I never got a ticket. I didn't go to jail. Right? It took them almost two weeks to give me that. And like I said, it was thanks to you guys. Now, let's go back in time. Like I said, I just went through a situation like that, which is also a pending lawsuit. So I can't get into too much specifics and details, but they did the same thing. They edited the body camera footage and everything. Like, they went ham on it. Like, it was crazy. And um, if you try to go get something like this or digital evidence authenticated, it is extremely expensive. Most of the time, law firms uh, pay for this stuff. Here's the thing. This is what they do with the truth. Nobody will ever find you out here. And especially when somebody like me is trying to put the truth out there. Now, if I was wrong, if I'm just making all this up, why would they take down and try to destroy and not let it get out there to, the, to you guys, to the public? They flagged every last one of those posts on the Next Story app. They flagged all of them. There was other posts put up. We didn't touch them. Let's go back even further. You see, previously, um, well, I had to use this situation as a gauge. So the evidence is weighing in my favor like crazy because uh, they wouldn't be trying to cover everything up like they, they're doing. Um, in the previous case, uh, I made an open records request in November of 2023. I didn't get a response until this year. In October sometime. All right. After the case was already uh, resolved and I was acquitted of all charges. After going to trial and sitting in the county for three months and subjected to things that is just completely insane. 
And if you want the full story in that, it's going to be in the description box below. I please, please go and watch it. And um, it's heavy. It is very heavy. And this is what I'm dealing with. This is what they don't want to get out there. So that's what I need your help on. Um, and let's go back a couple years ago. To episode one. That post is gone. That crazy woman put that post up to destroy. To completely destroy the business. And um, it worked. That post was up for three years. Would have been four. Would have just stayed up there. Right? Nobody flagged her post. It was just up there. All of a sudden, it's gone. She took it down. This is a lie. Saying that I do work for people and go back and break in their homes. That's just stupid. I make way more money doing work for people than word of mouth. I get way more business that way. Especially in my own community. That's fucking retarded. How long do you think that was going to last? Drug addicts don't even do stuff like that. If they anything, they're going to steal the material. And then they don't, they're not going to last that long. They don't even do... Drug addicts don't even have the work ethic to even go in to do anything like this. You're not even going to let that type of person in your home. You're going to sense that off the muscle. So, And there's nobody that could verify. Not one person that could verify anything like that has been done. And people were going for it and sharing it and spreading it like crazy, like wildfire. <laughs> but anywho, back to this. But, I, you know, I would say, man, y'all go back, watch from, from, from episode one all the way through. Go back, dig. And, you know, I'm not proud of none of this stuff, you know, but I had no outlet. I'm cut off from everybody. I have no more friends. All my family's in on it. They're all in on it. It's crazy. And they went and spread this rumor about me that... That I'm a creep. The worst kind of creep. And I try to figure out why my friends and everybody turned to, turned against me and stuff like that. Because a bunch of crazy women in my family went and spread a whole bunch of rumors. And with these people that are operating under the color of law. And I'm shown that they will lie. They will lie and do anything to bury the truth of what really happens. Or what really happened. You see, they did some super stu stupid illegal stuff. And are currently doing some stupid legal stuff to me. And um, I'm stressed out. Like, I know I'm not showing it outwardly because it's been happening. For, it's just just crazy. I can't even. This doesn't happen ever. I don't think this I don't think this has ever happened and gotten this to this point ever with anybody. And it's because of the truth. And some people look sitting back like this shit doesn't make sense. So before I get to rambling. Um, please share like crazy, like subscribe, get this algorithm pumping. I'm going to keep saying that and please go down, support the channel, go down to G spot. We're working. Uh, and I know, you know, some of you guys, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, there's going to be another video dropping here shortly. Um, I know some people go to link to like, he doesn't have any sales. There's, there's no sales over here. There's no sales on this thing. Um, Nobody's bought anything. You haven't bought it. Somebody got to start somewhere. You be the first customer. And you will get your money back guaranteed. If you don't like the product, it will be shipped right back to you. And if you do like it, give it a five-star rating. But um, I'm cut off from employment as well. Think of it like this. If I got access, if I can just go anywhere and just flash a back. Right? You're hit. You're hit. That's with anything. Employment relationships friends family i have access to your everything your phone your internet your computer your every line of communication where you go what you do what you eat what you buy at the grocery store every single thing that you do what you watch on tv everything what you listen to because everything's pretty much digital now <laughs> So, with that said, um, stay up to date, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to bring you some more, and we'll continue on this journey to justice, and uh, hopefully I'll still be around, and you'll still be around to uh, see a happy ending. So, uh, with that said, thank you, love you guys, and y'all stay up. Peace and blessings.
All greatness is from God. When a hero stumbles, well, the cowards rejoice. Nothing feels better to a coward than to watch a brave guy fall. These cowards that rejoice, well, they don't understand what greatness looks like. Hey, uh, to whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be all right, so quit your worry. I get it, the eyes can stack back against the wall, but even consider it such, no, you'll stand firm. Yeah. Sat and watch from the sidelines, one too many times. Wicked games to play, make me wanna lose my mind. Found solitude, knowing it'll be over soon. Ever need a boost, count on me for the one two. Trouble don't last when the tough get going. Baby, all we do is win, so show me my opponent. Adversity, doubt, stress, the care less. Cause how we handle those like an S on our chest. Super proud of how we held it down on the way up. Can't wait for our day to ball, this is a layup. Nobody ever said this would be easy, but trust when I say that you got I know you've been looking for